Hey, it's Patrick. Today we're going to be doing a video on the Barsetto Coffee Maker model CM4621-UL. This guy costs anywhere from $80 to $150 online depending on where you look. Um, I personally got this machine on a deep discount from a liquidation store, new in the box. Got it home, opened it up, all the packaging material was there. Uh, no indicator at all that it had been previously used. I've been using the machine for just a couple of weeks and made a few cups of really good coffee. Unfortunately, after only a couple of weeks of owning it, we're already starting to see some issues with leakage around the group port, which is where the coffee is extracted and comes out. So we're going to take a look at the machine, see if we can do some troubleshooting that might explain why we're experiencing these problems. This video is going to be sent off to the manufacturer to see what they have to say on the issue. Let's jump right in. Here we have a side angle of the unit. You'll notice it's got a full water tank on the back. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove that because we're going to be flipping the machine upside down to examine the gasket to make sure that there isn't any debris that might be preventing a proper seal. With the water tank removed, we can now flip the unit end for end and take a look at the seal. So here we have the gasket, you know, you'll notice that there's a little bit of coffee debris. Should be noted that this machine has already been used to make, I'd say about 10 cups of coffee. And so, you know, this is just normal. Um, I did spend quite a bit of time taking a Q-tip and cleaning around. I noticed that quite a bit of coffee residue got caught underneath the lip here. Um, and you know, I thought, well, maybe that's the reason that we're, we're having a leak. But as you'll see here in a moment that Cleaning this really didn't do anything. Just feeling around on the gasket, it, it feels supple. It doesn't feel hard at all. And this is a silicone material. I don't believe it's rubber. So really, I'm not understanding why we'd be having any leakage. You know, after reading some troubleshooting articles, I, I read, well, maybe maybe there's something wrong with the um, with the portafilter. Maybe you have dents on it. You know, you, d you definitely have to bang this thing pretty good to get the coffee puck out but as you can see you know just looking at it really carefully there there's no sign of damage here um, that would be preventing a proper seal so since we verified that the gasket and the port filter are in reasonably good condition let's flip this over and run it through a cycle without any coffee grounds to see what happens before we can run a cycle we'll need to replace the water tank with the water tank now replaced, we're able to plug the unit in and run it through a cycle with no coffee to see if we have any leaks. And I'm going to do the best I can, seeing that I'm a one-man film crew. Uh, we're going to place the coffee cup, then place the portafilter, power the machine on, and run it through a cycle. So position the portafilter. And lock it into position. We'll know that we've succeeded in doing this since the handle is lined up with the lock indicator. Next, we'll place the coffee mug underneath the portafilter. Looks like we got a little bit of debris there. Turn the machine on and wait for the preheating cycle to complete. All right, we verified that the preheating process is complete. Also verifying that all of the buttons are in the proper position. Obviously the unit is switched on given that we've got a power indicator light. We've got the button in the far depressed position uh, showing that um, it is ready to make coffee. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a cup of uh, hot water and we're just going to go ahead and start the pump by pressing the button here. Kind of a nice steady flow of water, everything's looking good there. So I think it's clear, you know, we got a good seal and no issues running it through a blank cycle without any coffee. Let's stop the pump and put some coffee in the portafilter and see if we have any better luck. So here we have some freshly ground coffee, finely ground I might add, you know, perfect for making espresso. We're going to go ahead and load this into the portafilter and take a quick look before putting it back in the machine and we'll run it through a cycle. So now we have the coffee in the portafilter. Apologies, we're having some problem with the focus. 
Um, as you can see, you know, it's tamped down pretty good, and it's just below the max fill line, so no problems there. Got just a little bit of debris on the side there, but nothing that should be too major. Let's go ahead and insert this into the machine and get ready to brew. All right, everything's in position. We're ready to brew. I'm going to go ahead and hit the pump start button. We'll zoom in and take a look and see how the extraction process goes. Come over this way. Actually, we got a beautifully brewed cup of coffee. Um, this certainly wasn't my experience yesterday, and I'm about to reveal why we had an issue. It really is kind of a well-duh type of mistake. Um, you see, the other day, uh, or maybe a couple days ago, I was frothing some milk, and unbeknownst to me, the middle button was actually in the frothing position. Now, even if the button is in the frothing position, the machine will still do extraction. Unfortunately, there must be something about pressing this button that makes it not seal properly. And I'll just demonstrate this. So I'll remove this cup of beautifully brewed espresso, which I'm going to be looking forward to drinking here soon. And we're going to put a bowl underneath since we're about to see what happens. So now we've got the frothing button pressed down. Um, and you'll see that when I hit the start pump button, we've got the reheat light indicator lit. You'll see that um, we're going to have some leakage occur. So, starts out looking good. And then we start to leak right out the front there. So, if you're having that issue with your Barsetto coffee maker, doesn't mean that it's broken. It just means that you have the middle button in the wrong position. I would critique the manufacturer for not putting some sort of interlock that would prevent the device from starting the pump if the middle button was pressed but you know this is uh this wasn't a very expensive purchase so maybe some uh, corners were cut in that regard i will say that the thing that matters which is the coffee brew itself really speaks for itself got a beautiful foam on the top there and every cup i've made has been delicious so thanks for watching hopefully you learned something about uh, properly operating your barsetto coffee maker i will say looked in the manual um, in the troubleshooting section and there's a little bullet point that says you know i'm i'm getting a leak around the porthole um, and, or the group hole rather and it only says to make sure that you don't have any coffee residue well it should also say to make sure that that middle button isn't pressed um, in the steam position so hopefully you enjoyed the video thanks for watching